guys, my name is Irvi and today we're going to do some data science. So today we're going to be doing the weather in Champaign, Illinois problem. So this problem involves writing a simulation in Python where we're going to simulate the weather in Champaign during the summer. So essentially the problem will give you like a list of data and stuff about like a percentage of time when it's like some weather. Um, in this instance, we have a 60% chance of being sunny, 10% chance of rain, 20% chance of clouds, and 10% chance of it being windy. And in this one specifically, we're going to simulate um, a thousand days, right? But again, your problem might have different numbers, different percentages, and so forth. So make sure to check accordingly. All right. So again, this is a simulation. So we're going to start out with our favorite simulation syntax. We're going to do data equals square empty square brackets for our list, right? And then from there, we're going to go in with our for loop. So we'll do for i in range. And then with our parentheses here, we'll do 1,000. And then again, make sure that you don't have a comma here. And make sure that this is all in the same line. That's not a straight line, but it's fine. OK. So from here, we'll simulate the real world situation. So the problem asks you to make sure that weather is the name of the column. So we're going to name our uh, variable here weather. And then make sure this is in a new line here. OK, that's fine. We'll do weather. And then we're going to use the random choice um, feature that will help us predict like which um, what the weather will be like, right? So we'll do random dot choice. And random dot choice will always take a set of parentheses. So you want to make sure you include these parentheses. And then because we're listing multiple things, we're going to add uh, square brackets, right? Just like that. And now from here, we're going to actually simulate the weather happening. So in this one, um, I'll write it over here. So we want 60% sunny. 10% uh, rain, 20% clouds, and then 10% windy. So we'll go in with the weather now. So because these are all words, we need to use um, strings to do so. So because sunny is occurring 60% of the time, basically what we'll do is something in like tens, if that makes sense. So We'll include sunny six times, rain once, clouds twice, and then windy once. And it'll kind of simulate um, the total 100%, but using only like 10 different um, like words in the specific, in the choice section. So we'll do um, sunny, and then again, make sure you use strings, and then use commas in between everything, sunny, and basically we'll do sunny six times because there's a 60% chance of it happening. Sunny again, and again, I'll keep going from here, and one more. Okay, and then from here we have a 10% chance of rain, so that means we'll only put rain once in there. Um, imagine that goes that way. Rain, 10%, and then we'll do 20% chance of clouds, which means we'll put that in there twice. Clouds, clouds again, and then we have a 10% chance of it being windy, so we'll put windy in there. And then after that, we're going to close our square bracket, and we'll close the parentheses from earlier. And just to make sure, we'll count that there's 10 things in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, which means it should be simulating it like 100% of the time, if that makes sense. Okay, so from here, the weather, we will use our dictionary syntax to put the result from the random dot choice into a dictionary, which then will append to the data frame, not the data frame, to the empty list. So D equals, you wanna use your curly brackets, and then we'll do weather in here and make sure this is in strings because that's going to be the name of our column and then do the colon and then weather without strings 
and this is a reference to the variable and this is the column name. Okay, so then from here, oh, and we need to close the curly bracket on that side. And then from here, we'll append this dictionary to the empty list. So we'll do data dot append D. Make sure to close it. And then from here, since everything was in this same indentation, we're going to get out of this indentation. So here, and we're going to make our data frame. So we'll do df equals pd dot data frame. And then we'll put data in that. And again, make sure to capitalize the D and the F and make sure this is in the same indentation line as data and the for loop. And with that, you can now predict the weather in Champaign, Illinois during the summer. Bye.